everyone and welcome to my first video tutorial. Uh, for now disregard the fact that I'm using Windows 10 as it will not affect the end results. Mm, I'm gonna describe your problem first and if it fits your situation then you should continue watching and solve your problem in under two minutes. Uh, okay so basically what happens is that mm, when you turn on your PC and the, try to install the Windows 7 uh, in BIOS, mouse and keyboard seem to work pretty fine. Then when you get to the boot menu, uh, the light at the, uh, the bottom of the mouse uh, stops working uh, and the keyboard doesn't work either. Uh, what happens here is that your uh, motherboard is probably uh, new and has USB 3.0 support. Uh, Windows 7 on the other hand needs drivers uh, installed for uh, for your mouse and keyboard to work. These drivers are not included in the Windows installation and need to be installed afterwards. So uh, after I restart the, the PC and get into the BIOS I will continue recording. So here we are in the BIOS. Uh, my motherboard is ASUS and the menu looks like this. It doesn't look the same uh, depending on motherboard model but it should have the similar properties maybe renamed or tweaked but it's the, the, same, uh, the same thing. We are gonna look for USB configuration uh, menus and uh, change some settings in there. I'm gonna go advanced here then find the USB configuration which is at the bottom and click it and the the thing that is uh, making your problem is uh, right here uh, USB keyboard and mouse simulator uh, if your mouse is not uh, working and keyboard either this thing is disabled if you read at the bottom it says enable this item to simulate USB keyboard and mouse to PS2 module in Windows 7. Uh, when you enable this property, oops, when you enable this, it is guaranteed to work. So let me know if, uh, if I helped you and uh, subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.